Okay, how y'all doing out there today? This is Pete, and we're over at DIY Auto School. And you caught me right in the middle of painting a 1955 Volkswagen. Now, we've already got everything painted except two doors, two fenders, and the deck lid. Um, I want to go ahead and explain painting a Volkswagen Beetle is not an easy job. Very, very time consuming. Um, very stressful due to the fact that it's round, everything on it's round. Um, and it's just a very big job. Even though it's a little car, little cars can be big jobs too. But what we're doing, we've completed all the body work, we've did all our primer job, we've completely blocked it out, and I have already applied the black epoxy primer. And if you take a gander at it right here, this is what we're talking about. So I got the two doors to do. I got the deck lid. And then we got the two fenders. And everything that you see has to be painted inside and out. Once I get all this painted, it's done. The only other thing we have to do is wet sand. And you got it. Buff. So, there's a system that I have, and I don't do it on every single car because, yes, I do charge more to do this type of a job. And a lot of customers don't want to do that. But, the system I use, it's, I call it a double clear job. Now, there's a lot of people out there that call it a flow coat, um, which is fine. I don't care. I've never called it a flow coat, but I guess that's the Y2K name for it. And what it does, it consistently gives you a higher quality, um, show quality, European high-end paint job. Let's go look at a couple pieces I've already painted, and I'm going to go ahead and explain the situation to you as we look at those pieces. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. So I want you to look right here. What you're looking at, you're looking at the deck lid, the hood. Okay, this is the hood that goes on the Volkswagen Beetle. I want you to take a good look at that. That's been painted for a week. That's been base coated, clear coated for a week. Been sitting here. I have not color sanded it. I have not buffed it. I have done nothing to it but paint it. This is what our double clear, aka double clear flow coat is going to do for us right here. Look at the smoothness of that finish. There's no orange peel in it. There's nothing. It's as smooth as glass is what this is. This is, this is like glass. Okay, You can't get any glassier than this. I'm going to go ahead and grab a flashlight and we're going to walk over here and I want to show you these fenders. Fenders are the same way. You can see uh, how slick they are. They're, the tuxedo black on these is awesome. Um, we actually got some dust right here. Look at that. We got dust on the fender. But you couldn't tell because the gloss on that was so perfect. I want to show you well we can't tell it's too dusty so you can kind of see how long it's been sitting here so if you look right here here's the car this is 
the 1955 Volkswagen Beetle. And what we've done, we went ahead and put the flow coat, aka, all right, aka double clear on this car. I charge extra money to do it because it does take a time to do the job, of course. It takes labor, more materials, but you see the outcome of the car and it's not even been buffed yet. So now that we've seen all of the parts that have been painted, I'm going to go ahead and take you through the step of what a flow coat is or a double clear coat job. Um, the first thing I need to do, of course, is get the base coat on there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll get the base coat on there. Once I get the base coat on, then we get into the high end double clear coat job, aka slash whatever you want to call it, flow coat. Let me get that on and then we'll see where we're at. Alright, we went ahead and put the base coat on. Three full wet coats. Came out awesome. Laid down really nice. And what we're going to do now is we are going to do a little bit of a game changer because a lot of you guys out there, what you're doing, you're putting the base coat on, you're letting it dry for two or three hours, and you're coming back and you're shooting three full wet coats of clear. But what I'm going to show you is a trick, and I call it double clear job. That's what I call it. But it's a trick that's going to give you the opportunity to have one of the most highest end, high quality paint jobs that you're going to be able to apply. So let's get back over to the paint table and I'm going to go ahead and explain it to you. So like I said, normally what we would do is we'd go ahead and grab our urethane clear and then we'd go ahead and apply three full wet coats of clear to what we just got done painting. But if we want that super deep, deep, super gloss, high-end European paint job, we're going to take it one step further. So we're going to go ahead and take our clear, we're going to put it back up on the shelf because we're not using that. What we are going to use is a product called Color Blender. Is, is the DBC 5000, DBC 500, I'm sorry, and it's a Deltron 2000 system type clear. I also call this inner coat clear, and the reason I call it inner coat clear is because this is a clear that you would put on top of the paint in between the base coat and the top coat, which will be your clear coat. Now what we're going to do with this is we're going to put two quick flash coats on it, that's it. The way that you mix this up, it doesn't require any hardener. It's 50% reducer, 50% color blender, or let's call it inner coat clear. Now, there's also other companies that make this product, and one of the most famous companies that make this product is House of Color. Does the same thing, basically it's identical to this, and the reason we're going to use this, this is what this was designed for. This was designed for unlimited artwork. So if I was going to go ahead and paint flames on my Volkswagen doors, let's say, for me to go ahead and take these doors off, I would have to take them off using fine line tape, then I'd come back with masking tape, then I would take the whole door off to paint my flames. If I did that on the raw base coat, just what you're looking at now, by the time I got done painting, when I went to pull that paint off, it would pull most of the paint with it. That's what Color Blender Inner Coat Clear was specifically designed for. 
to put a coat of that clear on this panel so we can do our multi-color designs or artwork. So when you see these lowrider guys that do pattern painting and they got all these colors and all these designs, they're using that inner coat clear as a top coat to protect all the other paint that they put on there. Anyway, back to the situation. So what most people do to do a flow coat or a double clear job is they will take their urethane clear, they will spray two wet coats onto their items, they'll let that dry for a week, they'll come back, wet sand it out, possibly with 1,000 to 1,500, and then they'll go ahead and apply three more full wet coats of this. And then wait another week, and then sand. So we're waiting two weeks before we even have a, a, a painted panel that we can actually bolt on the car. We're waiting two to three weeks. And we're wasting a lot of expensive material here in the meantime. Now, don't get me wrong, this is expensive too. But this is where you're going to save time and money. When you use the DBC 500 or the House of Color Intercoat Clear or Color Blender, you put two quick flash coats on it. The only substance that we're going to add with this is reducer. Here's the other uh, interesting situation. This clear right here is sandable and ready to re-clear in six hours. I will paint this today with this. I'm going to go ahead and put two coats on there and you're going to see me do it. And then I will come back tomorrow morning. I will wet sand all these pieces using 1500. And you're going to see me do that. And then tomorrow afternoon, I will put three full wet coats of urethane clear on those items. I will wait three to four days, color sand them and buff them. And you're going to see that with minimal, minimal, minimal sanding. So we're going to take our clear. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour it in here. And we're going to go 50-50 on that. And when I say 50-50, to make it clear to everybody that wants to be uh, uh, politically correct, one-to-one -one ratio. That means I'm going to use half clear and half reducer. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And that's it. We're going to go ahead and mix that up. And I'm going to get it in my spray gun. And then I'm going to show you how to spray it. And how fast and efficient this stuff sprays on. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we use a strainer. And then we're going to get this in our cup. Always use a strainer with anything that you put into the cup of your spray gun. Very, very important. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and shoot the clear on it. I'm going to start on the doors, work my way over to the fenders, and then I'm going to do that deck lid in the back. By the time I get done with that deck lid, we should be ready to go ahead and put the final coat on the doors and go around the last time. That's how quick this stuff dries. Um, if you're working in uh, extreme cold conditions, get your shop to at least 65 degrees, 60 degrees minimum. You can do this in 55 degree weather, but you're going to go ahead and what's going to happen, you're going to be risky on getting runs. And we don't want to get any runs in this. So I would say 60, 65 degrees minimum, um, all the way up to whatever. Let's go ahead and get it cleared.
I just got done sanding this. Uh, we are now ready for clear coat. But, uh, there you go. Okay, let's go over to this fender. I'm going to show you. Now, uh, I painted these last night. Let them dry overnight. We didn't wait three, four, five days for clear to dry. If you notice, this is still hanging up when I sanded it. You can look at it and see that it's just lightly been scuffed. We haven't sanded this thing like we're going to color sand and buff it. Uh, what we did, we scuffed the surface up and we removed the uh, dust specks that might have went into the paint. We also got the doors done. Um, and they're ready for clear coat. And we got this fender over here done. And then I went ahead and saved this fender for last to show you uh, the type of sanding that you need to do to this to prep this up to go ahead and put your three full wet coats of urethane clear on. So let's go over here and I'm going to show you what I'm using. So basically what we got here is we got some 1500. All right, we're using 3M of course. That's what all I use when it comes to sandpaper. Um, and you can see this has been used. So we're not, you know, skimping around here. This is a used piece. And then I got my block, my nice firm block, black on one side, gray on the other. And then, of course, the sponge with some water. And then what I'm going to do is I got to take my 1500. This is how you're going to sand this stuff and prep it for the final destination, which is our urethane clear. You're going to take your block just like this. Now, remember which side the black is on. So I'm going to start out with my gray side. And then I'm just going to wet my sponge. I'm sorry, I'm going to take my sponge and wet my paper, just like that, okay? And I'm not going to use my sponge putting continuous water on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set my sponge over here, and then I'm just going to go like this. Do you see how quick that's going? This is going to be real time here. We're not going to speed it up. And I'm going to show you how fast it is to prep this. Now, once again, if you get a run in it, you're going to have to neutral your way out of that and get rid of it. And if you burn through this clear, or possibly the base coat, to get the run out, then you just take your touch-up gun and spray some paint on it and keep going. Whereas, if we were using urethane clear, well, there's a big, giant, long process. You definitely ain't going to do this overnight. Now, one more thing I want to explain about this is when you put it on, sometimes it's going to look like it's solvent popped. It's going to have that look to it. It hasn't solvent popped. That's just how it dries. Um, a lot of times it'll dry and lay down like super coat clear, but sometimes it'll lay down and it'll look like solvent pop has hit it. Okay, so once it's all sanded, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get me a white ball, and I'm going to wipe that down and get all that white muck off of there. So I'll take my white ball, and it's very important that you use an automotive designed paint and body white ball brand towel. This is lint-free, tack-free, static-free, and is specifically designed for paint and body use. One of the most important keys to getting a crystal clear, beautiful, deep gloss paint job is to make sure you get all that muck off. All that sandy muck. And that's one reason we use minimal water. We don't want to use a lot of water. So, the last and final thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my paper just like that. And I actually wet it on the black side. Okay, that's the side that I went on. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk my fender, and I'm going to look for imperfections or possibly dust specks that got into the paint, and I'm going to nip them out. And unfortunately, you aren't going to see me sand anything because there's no dust specks that I need to nip. <laughs> this is a done deal. Um, our inner coat clear has been applied. We are now ready to paint 
or should I say clear coat, all of our pieces. Um, and definitely, if we had to have many of the body shop girl behind it to hold it. Now, come around here and let me show you. This is the inside of the deck lid, and it goes the same on the doors. Um, I did not, I did not sand the inside of this. It's unnecessary. Now, I did put the inner coat clear on the inside, but I didn't sand it. So it's very important to make sure you wipe that off to get everything off. These are now ready to clear coat. I'm going to probably wait a couple hours. It's a little bit cool right now. But uh, everything's been sanded down and, and ready for clear. I will apply three full wet coats of urethane clear to it. I will wait two to three days on that before I color sand and buff it. But we're going to go outside and I'm going to show you how easy it is to color sand if you use this technique to finish your car. Let's go outside and I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to color sand that clear down by using the flow coat or the double clear method. Alright, we're out here in the paint booth. We got our car over here. Before I do any sanding on it, I want me to kind of walk the car to show the awesome clear job. And you can see how it laid down. Uh, minimal shrinkage. Minimal, minimal shrinkage on it. And that's what's really important because shrinkage on your clear coat is what one of the possibilities why you have orange peel. You use the wrong hardener. You sprayed it too thick, this, that, and the other, and by the time all the uh, reducers and the hardeners and the paint fumes evaporate, it shrinks down and causes an orange peel. But by using that inner coat clear, look how nice that is. Listen to my hand. Watch. Can you hear that? I don't hear nothing. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to repeat our process. We're using the same block. And we are going to color sand this starting with 1500. Now, when I do this, I go from 1500 and then I do what? 3000. I go straight into 3000 if I am doing the flow coat double clear job. A lot of people are going to say, You're crazy, you need to do 1500. I start out at 1000. I've actually heard people say that. I start at 1000, I work my way up to 2000, then I use 3000. If you do it the way that I'm showing you, 1500 is all you need. Now watch this. Now we're going to really get down to the sand. Okay. Watch this right here. You see that? You see it milking up? That's what we want. That's what we want. We want that clear to be cut. We want to cut and buff. That's what it's called. Okay. I'm using my black side. Alright, I start out with the black side to bust it down and then I turn it over and once again you don't see me using a lot of water. I'm not running that water all over it. That's another technique that I use. Okay, minimal water. Now I want you to see this and watch this. Okay, this is real time here. Watch. I'm going to get one of Minnie's favorite tools, which is what? Squeegee. Minnie loves that squeegee. A uh, little tech tip on these squeegees, you want to make sure that these are very super clean because if dust gets on those and you scrape across it, it's going to leave a scratch. Watch this. Look at that. Look at the finish on that. See that? There's no 3,000. We're ready to put some 3,000 on that and buff it. You can buff it now. Well, we got to get it down to 3,000. What the 3,000 on the DA does, it kind of gives it a semi gloss buff. So, what that does, that saves on material and time when you're using your buffer. But yes, Minnie is right. You can actually buff that out just like that. That is some awesome sanding right there. Look at that. 
Another thing about doing the double clear job is you're going to get minimal, minimal trash in it because you've already got rid of what? 99% of all the dust specks before you put your clear on. Okay, this is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. Um, we're going to go ahead and sand this down. Now you can see that I'm using full water. I'm not using a uh, little baby step water action. This is our best block system right here for color sanding, right here, black and gray. All right, semi hard, soft. Watch this. Watch what happens. You see that? Watch. Minnie likes to double clear because it's easier to work on her. Right, Minnie? Mm -hmm. Did I put that squeegee in here? I don't even know if I did. Yes, I did. We're going to get our squeegee. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that sand job. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, showing you that taking your time, spending a little extra money, and using the double clear quote unquote flow coat system can really give you that beautiful and awesome paint job that you worked so hard to get to this stage because it's all in the prep job. And if you worked your ass off for several months, like I did on this, it's a real, real letdown when you see the final product and it isn't what you th see in your heads. You understand what I mean, Manny? Yeah. So take that extra time, take your time, you know, and prepare yourself to do a proper 100% authentic job. Uh, Manny's got to get to work. Here's her block, here's her sandpaper. It's time for me to get in there. I got to put three coats of clear on that. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.